In this technology insight, we're going to look at how FTIR calibrations are becoming more and more robust, meaning less work for those maintaining and running instruments in the dairy industry. Now, over the time, since we started using FTIR spectroscopy, models have become better because we can collect data from the whole world, from different regions, from different seasons and so on. And we can put all of that together into one prediction model that will cover everything. The fact that we can uh, develop robust models basically means two things to the user. First of all, uh, it's possible to combine different product types. So for example, skim, low fat milk, high fat milk, and raw milk can be combined into one slope intercept adjustment. So that means that you only have to adjust one slope intercept, not one for each of the sample types. That reduces the workload and uh, the cost for reference analysis. Secondly, the, the fact that we can compensate for uh, drift over time, including seasonal variations in the milk, means that uh, there won't be any uh, major variation across the year. Uh, therefore, adjustments will be much less when, when you're looking at it over a long uh, time frame. So that also means that we can save in terms of doing checks on the, of the instrument because the model will ensure that it's stable. And in actual fact, when we, when we look at this uh, across time, what we see is that we mainly monitor the uh, variations in the reference method. The errors from the reference methods are actually giving the noise, not the instrument. We've been uh, doing a study uh, at a dairy site with uh, two instruments where we have collected uh, samples every second week over more than a year. And with that, uh, we can see the stability across the year and we can also uh, see how different products uh, can be compensated by the same slope intercept. All of this we have put into a white paper that you can find on the FOSS website.